This is a Lego brick separator. I keep one in my back pocket at all times. You just never know when you'll need it. Typically, Lego brick separators are used to separate Lego bricks, but today I'm gonna show you some alternate ways to use this marvel of engineering. While I'm enlightening you with 50 Lego brick separator hacks, keep an eye out for these two scam Lego brick separators hidden somewhere in this video. Good luck. Let the bloodletting begin! It's a whole loneliness epidemic out there if you don't have any friends. This hack enables you to build yourself a comrade. I lovingly call him Blocky. To make him even more realistic, I added some arms to Blocky. It's like a little backpack. I have my brick separator on hand at all times. Turns out you can take a brick separator, dip it in ink, and write all kinds of cool stuff. The more you know. Did you know you can use a Lego brick separator to help apply stickers to your Lego builds with uncanny precision? No more crooked stickers for you. Especially useful for those of you who have sausage fingers, like me. Speaking of sausages, I ordered my daily supply off Amazon. <laughs> There's plenty of other things you can do using a Lego brick separator. For example, open a safe. You still need to know the code though. For my next couple hacks, you're gonna need at least a level 100 IQ. I've come up with quite a few ingenious Lego builds you can make using a Lego brick separator. Like this sunflower, for example. I like to use it for decor purposes on my coffee table. It would be such a great conversation starter if only my cats would leave it alone. I tried making a boat. I tried making myself a plane. A tank. A private jet, a wheelchair, but nothing was impressing me until I slapped some wheels on a brick separator and called it a Lamborghini. I also used a Lego brick separator to build myself a minifig scale slide. You can even have your minifigs play limbo with it. Sometimes I even join in. <laughs> Next up, I thought I'd hit you with a bit of nostalgia. And trust me, this one hits hard. Lately, I've been seeing all sorts of crazy retro toys floating around. I figured I'd build one of my own and see how it's received, before I get all the patents and everything in order. I call this piece Big Bird. It's modeled after this freak. I just made it freakier using some Lego brick separators. This one's a little intricate. If you're looking for a simpler build, perhaps this TP is more up your alley. Pretty self-explanatory, so I'm not gonna bother explaining how to build it. Previously, I fabricated a whole arsenal of fidget toys you can build using a Lego brick separator. So if you're in the market for some extremely satisfying fidget toys you can build using this gem, you should check out that video next. Highly recommend some of my best work to date. Have you ever needed to bury a dead body in a pinch? Neither have I. But in case you do when you can't find a shovel, I've got the perfect replacement. It might take you a little longer to dig than usual, so I suggest you move quickly. Anyways, I'm out of breath now and quickly approaching starvation. Remember those sausages that showed up earlier? I figured I'd cook myself up a snack. The only problem is, my spatula is still in the dishwasher. <laughs> Luckily, my Lego brick separator doubles as a spatula. It tastes even better when you use the brick separator to flip the sausages. I did it. I did. I did. I did. I did. I sanitized it. Don't worry. It tastes better when there's a little, you know, juice in there. It adds flavor, all the blood. In case you're wondering what a YouTuber's morning typically looks like, this is it. Sivadorf, what are you doing? What are you doing? What is it with you? You want a sausage? After you digest, you can also use it to wipe your butt. And even flush the toilet. No one wants to touch that little button there with their bare hands. That would be unhygienic. I want to get something off my chest. I'm going to war against the flock of birds outside. They're really loud and they poop all over my car. I just cleaned my car like six months ago and look at this. I wouldn't want to touch that. Normally, I just let the rain wash it all away. But sometimes when I want to impress guests, I scrape the bird poop off using my old friend, Blocky. Blocky's a good friend. He doesn't pester you to go out and spend money all the time. And yet he's always there when you need him. But maybe you have friends that are constantly annoying, trying to get you to leave your house and you're quickly running out of excuses. Once again, your best friend, Blocky, comes to save the day. Turns out you can pop your own tires with Blocky. You can't possibly go out with four flat tires. After using that solid alibi, you can then use Blocky to wipe your tears once you calculate how much it's gonna cost you to get four tires replaced. At least you got to stay home though. Go you. This might be TMI, but sometimes I pick my nose with Blocky. 
I never bought a salad tosser, mostly because I simply have no need for one. I just take two Lego brick separators and voila, gets the job done. Honestly, I don't eat a ton of salads because they always get stuck in my teeth. So I attempted to use my Lego brick separator as a toothpick. Here's how that's going. You could probably even use it as a toothbrush in a pinch, but if you really want to brush your teeth with Lego, I recommend getting an actual Lego toothbrush. Brick separators just haven't been cutting it for me in that regard. My last hygiene hack, I promise. You can use a Lego brick separator to comb your hair. Ooh, that feels pretty good. What about you, Tootsie? You wanna try? Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh I wanna try. Oh, oh you seem to like it, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's the spot. I also love to scratch my feet with these Lego brick separators. Give your meat a good old rub. Personally, I don't want to have to touch my feet. That's gross. But sometimes I feel a little itch that's dying to be scratched. Turns out you can get your partner in the zone by running them over their body from head to toe. Huh? Next up, I have a pretty obnoxious hack. You can clickety-clack these on a desk to express your boredom in a way that you normally wouldn't be able to otherwise. If you're so bored, perhaps I can interest you in a game of indoor soccer. You wouldn't use a real soccer ball indoors, that wouldn't be allowed. But perhaps a Lego brick separator can fill that void. I like to get all my friends involved. It's game on. My cat Tootsie likes to push things under the couch. It's infuriating because it's so hard to retrieve anything. I find that using a brick separator effectively elongates my reach. Wow. This tool is clearly multi-purpose. It can be used as a deadly weapon. This is my favorite way to use it. I like to leave some brick separators on the floor by the front door for several reasons. It helps deter any unwanted guests. And while you're at it, they can hold your door open for you when no one else will. Best friend. My apartment complex has an ongoing pest crisis. Ants galore, stray cats. Bruh. They're under my car too. Look at them. And the birds outside drive me insane. There was a groundhog that once tried to break in. Luckily, Tootsie was there to scare him off. You may or may not remember, but my first cat, Sniffledorf, I actually found him in the hallway scratching at my door. Still to this day, I marvel at my apartment's ability to attract pests. Anyways, Lego brick separators make for excellent pest swatters. If you're skilled enough, you can even chop flies out of the air with them. I like to dust away spiders and cobwebs. Wouldn't want to actually touch them in case they're poisonous or something. All these pests are getting on my nerves. To ease my stress, I like to use Blocky for some ASMR. Let's take a moment of silence to rest and recuperate. Sometimes even that doesn't do the trick though, so I treat myself to a shopping spree. It's just groceries because, you know, this isn't daddy's money anymore. I personally don't like coming in contact with the touchscreens at self-checkouts. I even use it to easily snatch out my cards from my wallet. Just give me a second here. Bringing the groceries inside, I sometimes run into a couple obstacles, like this puddle, for example. Instead of going around the puddle, I like to stop, admire, and gauge how deep it is with my Lego brick separator before taking my leap of faith. I even use it as an elevator button presser. Who knows who's been touching these buttons? And if anyone would be so bold enough to use the elevator with you, you can use the Lego brick separators to subtly pinch them so they reconsider next time. It's honestly a great tool, well versatile. Can act as a chisel, <laughs> hammer, and nail, or a mortar and pestle to make a poultice with. And then you can apply the poultice directly with it too. What's that? Basil. A Lego brick separator is exactly three inches long. With that being said, it's now a functioning ruler. You can use it to measure pretty much anything. I am roughly 28 Lego brick separators tall. I wanna end things off on a high note with a magic trick. Subscribe if you're impressed and I'll see you next time.